G'day and welcome to the Mac Pack Podcast. We're back. My name is Jake McKenna and to my left this week in order of the tamest start to 2022. It's my little brother Joe. How are you, Joe? Boy! Jake, I had a lovely New Year's Eve. Stayed in, made cocktails, watched Daredevil. It was great. Sounded very tame. And tomorrow I come in at 6 foot 1. There's another leech every week. It's my brother Pack. And we call you boy, Jinway. How are you? Me and my main man, Big Ed, had a huge night. And we're going to break it down very soon. Big Ed. Boys, we've got so much to chat about on this week's episode of the Mac Pack Podcast. We just launched the website. We've got plenty of merch stuff to chat about. Yeah. We went away on a little holiday last week, which yeah, was baby. absolutely lovely. Yep. You've got a story about an old man on here in Junior Boy. Yes. And you've got an everyday hero about a boy from work? Yes, a lovely everyday hero. I'm coming back. I haven't had one in a while. Very I'm excited. Kind of Very excited. We also debate Dow, and I give you a MacPack life hack about topic holidays. It's a massive app. So let's get into it. Boys vs Boys! Brother Mingo! How are we all? We all well. It's good to be back. We're in the new year. How about it? We, we are. We're officially gonna... in the new year. L- yeah. Last week the episode came out, but we, we were faking it. <laughs> and we lie. We lie. We actually... <laughs> we're time travellers. <laughs> we actually recorded that before yep. the last the episode that came out the week prior. Yeah, Holy shit. cheeky dogs. We pulled the wool over your eyes. <laughs> you didn't even fucking know. Yeah, the che- what are we called? The... You noobs. Movie magic. <laughs> we, we also, there were bits where we said like, Scumbags. in the episode, we were like, oh, we're back outside. We yeah. haven't even been outside what at all. Idiots. Cheeky. There you go. Peek oh. behind the foreskin. Yeah, uh, boys, what's been going on? How was New Year's? How was the celebrations? Mine was lit. But Joe didn't get up to much, did he? Joe had a very quiet one by all reports. Yeah. What went on, Joe? Yeah, so uh, we had tickets first to snack, uh, got which canned. we bought because we thought the map looked really fun. It had like little silent disco, yeah, okay. DJ rides and stuff. Oh, um, but then we ended up buying tickets to go to the Gog News because it's you know a lot closer. Yeah, we didn't want to have to pay for like those, you know, those New Year's uh, surging Uber prices. Yeah, we didn't want to have to cop that. Yeah, uh, and then they got cancelled, so cop the refunds. Hell yeah! And we stayed in. What made cocktails? Nice. Watch Daredevil. Very nice. Daredevil on Netflix. Re- would recommend. Very good show. Hell yeah. Um, it was great. It was a great day. Didn't have to go out. Didn't have to see anyone. I, it was fantastic. There you okay. go. I had like the complete opposite. What'd you do? I was meant to be going to Goggage, but did not go. <laughs> Goggage. So I had three house parties. Old synagogage. Three, three house parties, which I mentioned. But my favorite part of the night. So I went to the first one. was like a prize with the boys. Did you see that? I can't remember. Oh, sure. <laughs> no, did, did you see what I just showed you on the last Oh, no, no, oh, no. It's not good because it's a little something for later. Oh, another peek behind them. Yeah, almost. Um, <laughs> you'll see. And so, yeah, I went to the first one. Yeah. Just a boys' party. You know how it is. Um, lads on, lads on, lads tame. on. Lads. But then I went to this one of my mates who's was having a house party at his grandparents' house. <laughs> Hell yeah. parents are like multi millionaires and live on the river in Shelley. Were they home? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they were up and about. They were chatting to us. Um, Wait, the grandparents were? Yeah, yeah. They're pretty young. Like, yeah. Like how old? 60? Yeah, like 67. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not like old, old. <laughs> anyway, so we were, there, we, were there, we were there for the big event, like the tick over. Have they got names? Oh, yeah. Do they listen to which the podcast? M- which is my favourite part, Caleb. Caleb James' grandparents. Oh, oh, really? Funny story about Caleb James. Shout real out quick. to Caleb James. So Caleb featured on, the, featured on an episode like a long time ago. Yeah, we prank ago. called him. But <laughs> Ka- I was with Caleb uh, on the weekend and he was telling me that his little cousin started listening to the podcast. His little cousin is 11 years old. No. Oh, and no. <laughs> I said less C words. Um, yeah, yeah, let's try tonight. Let's do none. There we go. Wow. And <laughs> yeah, maybe that could be your resolution. <laughs> yeah. So um, he, Caleb told me that his 11 year old cousin ha- now has a podcast because he started listening oh, to Oh, what? He's got his own. Yeah. What's it called? I'm not too sure yet. Caleb hasn't told me, but okay. you'd be sure to listen. Yeah, that's, that's huge. So anyway, on him. at Caleb's, it was like around. <laughs> He just swears. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you do it. I swear. It was 11.55 p.m., five minutes. And I was on the double blacks. Eddie was on like two bottles of vodka. So Eddie Wonder. was like, Big Ed, of course, was getting on. <laughs> so me and Big Ed made, it, made our way to this party and we were popping off. It was pretty lit. We talk about Big Ed a lot. Yeah. Have we ever shared an image of what Big Ed... We're going to on Friday. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. Um. <laughs> Because he's almost become like a main character. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But he's a figment of a lot of people's uh, Yeah, I saw this, this other chick at a party a few weeks ago that I didn't know. And she came up to me and was like, oh, I listen to your podcast each week. <laughs> and I was like, fuck yeah, this is, this is Big Ed. <laughs> 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 As if, like, he's one of the <laughs> guys on the party, which he basically is at this point. <laughs> Did she know? Oh, yeah. She was like, oh, I'm not up to that yet. 
<laughs> she was at like at 30. So before me and Ed were friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, it got to like 12.55. I was like, this party's like lit, but it's not lit lit. And I was like, <laughs> we're on the river. And Caleb also, his grandparents also has a swimming pool. So I was like, Eddie, you know, it's going to have to be done. Let's get in. Come on. Let's do it. So we both stripped down to our jocks. <laughs> oh, nice. And we got in the pool for a bit. Was anyone else swimming? Uh, yeah, but way before us, like three hours before we got there. People okay. were there like, like during, like during sunset, the day. Yeah. Yeah, normally. And anyway. This is a party with girls and guys? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and we're popping off in the um, in the poolage. I, wa- I wore my festive underwear that I got from a secret Santa from work. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. said ho, ho, ho all over them. I wore them because I knew that I was going to be getting in the water. <laughs> and um, so me and Ed, we got in and then it hit midnight and we're watching the fireworks on the river. And I was like, Eddie, mate. Let's get in that river. And this is me and Big You Ed. went in the river after you went in, in the, the pool. So you went in the pool first? Yeah, yeah. Poolage, then and river. The river. Back in the pool. Then back to the third party. Oh, this, this is, is a bit... Ed. Oh, my... <laughs> oh, I feel like I did see this I have not point. seen this. This yeah, is... that's just sex appeal right there. <laughs> Why are you both holding your crotches? Oh, Eddie's not. I'm holding mine. Lucky I was, because uh, there were people taking photos before this and I wasn't holding it, but this is the money shot. Yeah, it's uh, it's Aisha. I mean, <laughs> don't know what, how much money. Yeah, that's what I was getting up to on New Year's. So w- a little bit more lit than Joey, clearly. Yeah, that's interesting. It's uh, a good way to start the New Year. Did you swim across the river? Is that fuck no? Why would you just get what in? You, do? you just stood in there. <laughs> oh no, we we got in. It was really <laughs> cool. Deep. It was really like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> it was really slimy, actually. Everyone, <laughs> at the, everyone at the party. Damn, look at those guys getting their ankles wet in the river. <laughs> it was really slimy, actually, which was it's so gross. Yeah. The river sucks. We used to go canoeing for outdoor ed. Yeah, and, like one of the things you have to do is. Make sure that if you're in a canoe and you like flip it, you can you can get back in like a survival thing. Yeah. So one lesson, we're all in your ten, and um, teachers like, all right, everyone go to the middle of the uh, the sw- swan or whatever that river is. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, all right, everyone uh, tip yourselves over and then try and get back in. Fuck yeah. And so we all did it. It's like it's not too hard. Mm. And then we come back in. Everyone's covered in. Slime. It's slime, like green. Yeah. It's Black green slime. mud. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah, shit's fucked up, the stuff bro. they pour in the Springfield River that makes the fish have three eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want. What did you get up to, Jack? Um, we had a house party. Similar to what we were talking I think it was would have been last week or two weeks ago, whenever we sat down last time. Get your jocks. And we I didn't we were talking okay. about like house parties um during the day and we're playing a few games. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what you got it up Turns to. out, yeah, like a day later, we got invited oh, yeah. to this gig and it was like a proper... That was pretty cool. You guys were like yeah. color Olympics and stuff. Teams. Yeah, a lot of the girls were very organized. A lot of the blokes yeah. were just there for... Yeah. Piss. It's funny watching the blokes rock up because we're just there for like... The piss. We'll, we'll, we'll play... Like, we're not really interested. We're just there to like chat, have a yarn. Mm. But everyone else seemed quite competitive. What games were there? I couldn't tell you. There was beer pong. Yeah. Classic. But it was like a very... Customized version, and it wasn't really. How do you, you um, customize pong? We played like sideways, like we played a long way at the table. Oh, yeah, it was a bit. Anyway, it was a bit tough. Some deep shots, and three pointers. No, they were shallow because we're only playing like this, like this. Oh, was the, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. that is weird. Yeah, it was it's a, a bit strange. Yeah, it was a proper, sla- <laughs> proper slam dunks. Fuck yeah! But no, nah, it was alright. It was a good time. It got. La- it took a while to get late because we got there quite early. We got there like fucking five o'clock. Yeah, we yeah we dropped you. Yeah. And I was like, oh, by the time it goes to like nine, ten o'clock, I was like, man, this is like, it's, it might. it's taking a while. Between 12, because I didn't get home to about three thirty, four o'clock. Yeah. That went quick. Between 12 to four went quick, but yeah, between five to nine did not. Shit. There you go. Hell yeah. It, it's weird when it ticks over, because I actually think that New Year's Eve might be my favorite day of the year. Oh, it's no. good vibes. I think it was only last episode that we said it was, it was overrated. I didn't say it was. You two were. It's just good. I was at work all day. It's just like. But there's just something different about it. Like everyone, all the customers were like, "I oh, have a good New Year and everything." Like everyone was just really sweet. Yeah, it is nice. Help them out. It was it's just cute. like, you know, everyone wants to turn a new leaf. Everyone's very excited for like what's going to be. Yeah, and then they go back to normal. Yeah, they're normal yeah. shitty selves. Sh- <laughs> shitty customers back at it again. <laughs> ah, boys, welcome back. Looking all tan, boy. Yeah. Look so at tan. Look at all tan. Did you notice the tan we got? Tan line? It wasn't until I... Bro, I have a fat tan line on my ass. Oh, show us. Okay. I think that's just your ass crack, that <laughs> line. That's not... No, legit though. Because I was like, I'm not that like dark. But then when you see my booty, oh, it's pretty white. Oh. And I'm then it goes back to real dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it wasn't until I jumped back in the shower when we got back from Ooh. our little trip. First shower of the week, was it? Um, no, yeah, no. We had showers when we were down there. We're not like... 
No animal. Bush league. Anyway. Um, and I was, that was when I noticed how brown town I'd become, <laughs> which is, it was good. Very cool. Yeah. What about it though? Nothing. <laughs> it's <laughs> just chill up. being tan. Yeah, yeah, it's just nice. It is pretty, it's a chill. It's, it's, it's weird though because like, obviously you are. <laughs> majority of you notice throughout the podcast, majority of the stuff is us saying something and rather go, it's weird though how, and then he just like tears and just like that he's just I'm not. I'm trying to make this, TikToks, bro. That's, what just, <laughs> that's just not weird ever. Uh, well, oh, yeah, yeah. He, he um, what is it? He spikes the lens. It looks directly yeah. into the camera. It's weird wait. how. Go. I'm trying to get that. Do it again. Do it again. Do, do it right now. Go on. But I forgot what I was going to say. No, it's weird how like <laughs> in winter you don't really understand how like white you are until it hits summer and then you get tan and then you see your booty and you're like, fuck. Yeah. I'm, really I'm white eyes. Yeah. So I wonder if my booty, like, if my face looks like my booty in winter. Do you reckon? <laughs> 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 and that's why I do it. <laughs> can, can we get a, come July, let's get a face booty colour match tonage, yeah? We'll go into, like, Bunnings where they do, like, all the paint yeah. colours. Yeah, yeah. We'll grab one of those, um, what are they called? Swatches. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what we should do. Maybe we'll do that this week. We'll get a <laughs> we'll get a swatch. swatch. Diggers. You ever see that? <laughs> 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 you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, we already got one tattooed on you. Oh, <laughs> so what we'll do? To hide the tan. Uh, <laughs> we'll get a we'll get a <laughs> we'll get a color swatch, and um, yeah, yeah, we'll work out what color we are now. I yeah. like this idea versus what color we are come. Yeah. We could just take the pants off right, oh, now, right now. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> it might be easier to do it. You know when like... Well, you, you just take you a photo do, you, and, yeah, then and then do, you do the, the colour little colour drop thing. And then you get and the, then we'll share it on the Instagram. hex coat. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll share the full... Riley's butt Instagram. hex coat. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, yeah. Our chest compared to uh, our booties. You guys ever see those TikToks? Um, <laughs> no. Where it's like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't see shit. It. <laughs> where it's like um, like the people talking on a podcast <laughs> I hate those ones they get a lot uh, <laughs> nah it's like <laughs> there'll be like in the, it'll be like a lake or some shit <laughs> and then like there's a painter there and they have like a little bit of paper that like goes over the canvas and yep. they match it to the background yeah yeah that's chill <laughs> <laughs> what? it's really cool that they could do that it oh is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did How was? Uh, did we enjoy the trip? Yeah, it was good. Oh yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drums. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I enjoyed it. We don't really hang out at the beach much. I really enjoy the beach, despite what um, one of the TikToks. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> was like, "Die at the beach is sick." <laughs> And yeah. like we spent like probably like forty man hours at the beach that week, and we put that on TikTok saying the beach. Is <laughs> yeah. We hate the beach. Yeah. <laughs> we come back from the beach and read the hate comments. <laughs> yeah. We literally we were at the beach. You shared the video, and then we went back to the beach. Yeah. And the the TikTok at the time was about my. It wasn't even a dislike for the beach. We were just comparing the beach versus the pool. Yeah. And we just basically said that the beach is a little bit more inconvenient if you live fucking forty minutes away. Yeah. Which I is still true. I TMZ'd it to make it seem like Jake is a beach hater. <laughs>
Yeah, like Tom Smith sends you back TikTok edits. He's like, oh, pretty sure Jake says something kind of shitty. Can't you edit that? In? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but it was good. It was good to get away. It was good to have a nice little relaxation time down at the beach. Yep. It was warm. It was bloody warm. Yep. Um, we took the. We're getting into boogie boarding. We haven't mentioned this, but we're big. Yeah. We're big on boogie boarding. Up. We bought some boogie boards for Christmas. Yeah, they're actually sick. They're little. What are they called? Mumbos. Little yeah. mumbo yeah. boogie boards. We tried to surf a couple years ago. Surfing is pretty Fuck tough man. at the best of times. Let alone when you have two knees that are built like glass. Yeah, surfing's hard. You can't pick up surfing. And you have then to like learn. Yeah, you got to be like a, a, a grommet. A grommet in surf lingo is like a Someone little. Someone who's good at swimming. Yeah, little beach kid. Mm. Um. There wasn't many people with grommets down at... No. Uh, I bay. actually well, almost... Riley got a bit of a... <laughs> yeah, I might need a fucking grommet. Every time I enter, <laughs> submerge my head in water, <laughs> even in the shower, I can't hear for the next 24 hours. <laughs> Where do you shower at the moment? Yeah. <laughs> you just don't. Yeah. No, I mean, no, it's, it's less all right. It's all right in the shower. But like, when, it, when you go in like the pool or the <laughs> ocean, that's when it gets real Maybe bad. Maybe something happened in the river. Maybe it, a little bug got the in. The worst... The part where it happened the worst, I was at North Coogee. And Big Ed and Amir, my little, big, they're like the same size, but just different heights. <laughs> they were both running at me on this jetty and I had to like <coughs> jump off. And I, my, my head landed in first and just all the water just went into my brain. And I just couldn't shot. hear anything since. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we, we started to do a bit of boogie boarding. We really got into the boogie boarding. We took the GoPro down. There will be a video. We'll share like a bit of a, a vlog. Yeah, a little vlog of our little trip. Um, yeah. And essentially, we were filming a fair bit of stuff on the GoPro one day. We didn't have any. We normally have like a little band on the GoPro that keeps it float. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah that thing's cool. It broke. So that stayed at home. And we just sort of went in this handheld. It's an old GoPro as well. It's not like one of the flash Wh- new ones. Ki- oh, that yellow thing. Yeah. Oh, does that keep it floating? Yeah. What That's genius. I thought it was just to hold. No, like the reverse end of it always stays That's floating. Like full of air. That's right. Yeah. Um, but... We didn't take that, oh so yeah. we just gave the GoPro to Riley and under the provision. Just do not drop it. Do not the drop it. The waves were huge as well. They were probably like... They were not huge. Not yeah. huge. A couple, a couple <laughs> but like, if, you, if they landed on you, you were going down. And like, mum couldn't stand up sometimes because she was getting washed up on shore. Yeah, mum was drunk. So um, <laughs> what ended up happening was... Pretty aggressive waves. That's what I'm trying We were to finishing... We weren't finished. Oh, we were actually pretty close to finishing up. We were about five minutes away. Mum was like, okay, I'm going to head back. Um, mm-hmm. And we were going to follow suit. You still had the GoPro and you'd done well for probably an hour, 40 minutes to an hour. Yeah, holding the GoPro. cool shots of yeah. me riding in these waves. And then w- as I went past, you were walking past me. Yeah, I wanted to get a shot of like the wave crashing and then Jake submerging out yeah, of the, just, like, just the appearing. camera submerging yeah. out of the water into Jake. Um, instead, he just dropped the camera and the camera ended up on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, and if you've ever lost anything in the ocean, it's, just like, it's tough gone. to get back. Especially when it's like waves crashing. Like, they were probably like three seconds in between each wave. So it was like hard to, like... <laughs> That's very rapid. Yeah, it was, it was very okay, rapid. Okay, okay. But yeah, so it was like, once you go down, you're like in panic mode. Especially when it's a few hundred dollar camera. Yeah, and so we're running a mark up and down the beach. There was a lot of swearing going on. From Jake. We were trying to work out the current of the beach and like where this thing could have ended up. Riley um, had some goggles on. They got passed around because it wasn't deep water, but... That was probably the worst part of it because it, every time the wave would crash, all, all the sa- yeah, all the sa- yeah. all the sand would kick up and you couldn't really see anything. So th- we had a look. It got to like five minutes, and I'm swearing my head off, going, "We've lost this!" And like it's been under. It was like our way- first day of the trip. Yeah, and it's been under way too long. Trip. Like by this point, there's no chance we're gonna find this. Yeah, because like five minutes went by. It could be like you're looking at one by. spot on the beach, but it could be like. It could be way deep in or it could be like left or right. Yeah, you 100%. don't know where it is. Yeah. And so we went right down the beach, like way down from where we were because I, was, I just assumed that the like the, the actual current was yeah, just going to push it down there. Yeah. So I'm like way away from Riley. Riley ended up running back. Um, Taylor's looking, mum's looking. It was a very stressful period of time. Mm-hmm. The beach prior to us losing it was full. Like we well not full, but there was a lot of people down there. Yeah. And then for whatever reason, they seemed to disappear pretty quick. I don't know if it was when the swearing started Probably. or <laughs> what went down. And we're looking and I've given up. I literally said to Taylor, like, I stopped looking and I'm, like, walking back to where you are. Mm-hmm. And I was like, nah, fuck this. It's, it's gone. Like, it's been 10, 15 minutes by this point. There's no way we're finding this thing because it's no longer going to be where it was originally. Yeah. It's and we can't see it. Who knows where the fuck it's going. And I decided, because the GoPro is quite heavy, so there's no way it's going to be buoyant. It's, it sunk, like, instantly. It would have like gone to the bottom of the floor. So I was, And I was, like, looking on the shore, seeing if it would wash up because obviously I was washing up and I would probably weigh more than the GoPro. Mm-hmm. 
So then, <laughs> probably. And then, like, the sand was all crashing, and there was just like a bunch of shit up on the like near the shore, and like the whole ten meters into the shore. So I was like, I'm just gonna go deep, and hopefully I can see through the water a bit more. Yeah, I could. Yeah. I could see through yeah, the water a bit more. Yeah, it gets more. way clear. And I kept seeing like a bunch of like. What are those like turn balls? That, like those little like tumbleweeds? Yeah, tumbleweeds <laughs> in the water. Sea sea tumbleweeds. And I kept like seeing them flying around, and I was like, they kind of resemblance <laughs> GoPro. So I get like standing on them, but they were squishy, so they obviously weren't. But then all of a sudden, yes, I just look over to Riley as I'm making my way back, and I'm swearing. I was like, oh, it's all right. Don't like you had it for a few. I was years. so stressed because Jake was like, I was not very happy. angry. I was and not obviously, it was toward me because I dropped it. Um, and I look at Riley. And you're just standing there and you just cocked your head back at me and gave me this look. Keep in mind, <laughs> I'm probably like 80 meters away from you at this point. Oh, yeah. And you gave me this look and it was just like eyes wide open, <laughs> mouth wide open. And I was like, well, that's not sort of the face you make if you've, just lost, if you've just lost someone's <laughs> GoPro. It's not the usual Riley face. <laughs> yeah, so I was walking along the beach. I mean, uh, walking along like a fair few meters in. I was probably like chest deep, looking through the water, like hopping around, trying to find starting to see through the crevices in the sand. Mm. And then I just see this black silhouette of a camera facing up. Yeah. So I saw the lens and I was like, that's a fucking lens. So I just stomped my left foot on it because there were waves still crashing on me. Like it was, The worst part was that it was so aggressive because if it's like a chill beach, you can, you can obviously find whatever yeah. you drop. But it was so like crazily like smashing. And I was like, fuck, like this is, it couldn't be a worse situation to drop a camera. And I found it and I just put my foot on it and pressed so hard down. And like these waves kept crashing on me. And I looked back at Jake and I was like, I fucking got it. But then I was like, shit, I don't actually have it yet. I'm chest deep and it's on my foot. Like I have to do some yeah, still maneuvers move, to yeah. get this shit. And after the wave crashed on me, I put it in between both my feet and then threw it up in the water, caught it with my hand and threw it up in the air and was like, I've got it, baby. Yeah, it was a huge moment. It was literally... But then, but then when I was walking up on the beach, Jake came sprinting over. The waves were still crashing. Yeah. So I had to like hold it on my chest for dear life. <laughs> yeah, and I'm and like, like hugging him and shit. carrying on. It's all going to be on the in the vlog. Oh, yeah. The actual footage of you putting your foot on it is pretty incredible because oh, yeah. it's facing up. You sort of see you come into shot. The silhouette. And then this foot just <laughs> like step on it. And then from <laughs> then on, it's just absolute chaos and carnage because you pick it up. And, and it was recording the whole time, which is crazy because like it's like me and Jake <laughs> laughing at the beach and then it's like <laughs> yeah. waves and shit and sand. And then it just turns into a foot, my hand and celebrations. No, nah, it was absolutely carnage. Like, um, one in a million chance to find something like that. Because there are so many videos on YouTube of shit. It was like, lost GoPro, found eight years later and returned to the owner. Yeah. No. It was, it's wild. Yeah. You did well. Fuck yeah. Thank God. It really could have set the tone quite badly uh, yeah. for the rest of the holiday. Legit. I saved the trip. I, I ruined and then saved <laughs> the trip within 12 minutes. Absolutely all time. So boys, obviously... We've been on, um, you guys have been on holidays from work. Yep. But as a casual worker in retail, work doesn't stop. Yeah, the grind never stops. You're I'll there every yeah, once in working. a while. Every time like you guys have come off work, I've been working more shifts. So I've been on the grind. And obviously, you know, working so much with retail and customers, you run into some funny individuals. No doubt. In customers. <laughs> there was this one moment that stood out to me. It was just a quick little interaction. And um, it made me, it, ma- it started to make me think. <laughs> So That's rare. I was standing, <laughs> <laughs> I was standing in this aisle, stocking the shelves as usual, mm-hmm. and um, I saw it was just me in, just me in the aisle, and there was another old guy who trembled into the aisle. <laughs> Tre- <laughs> stumbled. Mean, stumbled into the aisle. What's well. trembling? Trembled is like when you're scared. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, well, I was <laughs> after this interaction. <laughs> but, um, so he was just walking down. He's just like a sweet old man, like quite old. <laughs> Wobbly. Give us a number. Well, well put a number in on. the eighties, probably. Okay, high eighties. Okay. Yeah, mids, <laughs> midsies. And so he's walking through the <laughs> through the aisle, um, basket in hand. Basket, relatively, not all the way full, but a bit. Like he's, he's done his shop. Yeah. He's, he's walking through the aisle, and I'm in the in the um, hardware section of the shop. So there's like nails and that kind of stuff, and he um. <laughs> People slowly putting together the shop. <laughs> <laughs> and he, um, yeah, so he was like looking at these shelves and stuff. And then he ha- he found found the item he wanted. And he was a fair while away from me. But I was like looking like kind of at him. I was like, does this old guy need help? Like he was pretty short. I was like, maybe I could reach up on the shelves for him. <laughs> and then he was like, he was all good. And then he walked past me. And, by the, and at the moment that he walked past me, he dropped the pack of nails that he was holding. Yeah. 
and then really, really struggled to bend down and pick it up. <laughs> so I went down to pick it up for him, but he just beat me to it. <laughs> and then... <laughs> oh, it's just one fact. They didn't, like, burst open. Oh, no, no. Okay, no. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, he beat me to it. And then he looked up at me. We hadn't said a word yet. I just went to go help him and then failed. <laughs> and then he looked up at me and said... And he said, um... <laughs> he was like... It's hard to bend over when you got a catheter stuck up your cock. <laughs> 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 and I, was, I just fucking pissed myself and walked off because I didn't want to ask any more yeah. questions. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting um, conversation. Right <laughs> and he was like, yeah, you, you, you and me both fell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, for those who don't know, a catheter is the <laughs> it's like the, the little tube that they put up, put up your urinary tract, whether it be your penis or... Other part. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed to say that word. <laughs> anyway, uh, put it up your urinary tract and it like gets rid of the <laughs> fluid, so uh, the piss. So, <laughs> so you don't have to go piss, right? And he m- must have had one Wait, strapped to his hip or something. To a pouch or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I didn't see. But he <laughs> obviously had one up there. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, boy, oh boy, wow, wait. And then I was thinking... Well, I remember uh, when I had my appendix taken out a few years ago, I was at the um, doctor uh, yeah. and this was before I knew what a catheter was and I finished <laughs> the surgery and I went to go pee like many hours after the anesthetic and everything and it really hurt when I was pissing, which is not, not a fun sensation. And I was like, oh, well, it's just the after surgery piss. <laughs> Maybe that's how it is. <laughs> you know, it's and then I like, kept hurting for a few days. So I went to see the GP after and um, they did like a few blood results and I was like suspected to have... Diabetes for a little bit. Remember that? Oh yeah, yeah you remember that's that. right. It was like a di- diabetic scare when I was sixteen. I was like, shit, like this could be bad. <laughs> and then when I went to the GP, he was asking a bunch of questions to me and mum, and he was like, did he have a catheter? And mum was like, no, no, he didn't have a catheter. Didn't allow me any time to answer. And I was. She then he went on to ask another question. But before he asked it, I was like, what? What's a catheter? And mum was like, <laughs> it's when they put a little tube up your c- <laughs> up your <laughs> dick and then it you know, takes out the piss. And I was like, oh. And I looked back at the doctor. And he was a funny little funny little guy. He was a bit quirky. <laughs> and he looked at me and said, the wonders of modern medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I pissed myself again. I was wondering, have you guys ever had a catheter? <laughs> 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 any any so. Cathy's on the panel? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting thing. And I could not imagine the sensation. <laughs> Someone tonight. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Can not imagine a, the sensation of a Kathy up your up your wang. I don't think so. I think that's a something you would remember. I've obviously had a few surgeries. I remember when I had surgery, the most recent one on my knee, and I had to stay in overnight. Surely. Nah, I would remember like yeah, yeah. You, ha- you obviously just need to piss. Um, mm-hmm. As you do. But they were giving me these weird little. I couldn't even explain. They're like little cardboard tubes. This is getting quite visual, and you just like. Place yourself in the cardboard <laughs> tube and piss. Hell yeah. I felt so bad. Like I had a little nurse lady coming in, and she was lovely. It's like three a.m. in the morning, and she's like, "And you're ringing the and you're bell no, no." Piss. But like, <laughs> I'm putting these f- like full blown <laughs> pieces of cardboard. They were flowing, baby. Yeah, like the actual were, cardboard. They were so well. They they they, they, they were made out of like um, egg carton sort of material. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a full, it was a full on fucking thing, and this poor woman Is had to like pick it up. Tube? And she and it, flashback. They give you, <laughs> <laughs> they give you heaps of them because like you can't get up. I can't, I can't walk yeah. for months, let alone on the night. Yeah. How about number doozies? No, that didn't happen. <laughs> I don't. No, I think you got to sort yourself out there. Catholic for that one. <laughs> but I remember the chick coming in, and like obviously it's very late in the morning, and I'm like sort of I'm so I'm on so many fucking drugs. I'm in, yeah. I'm in, <laughs> yeah, I'm in, I'm in, the E, and I'm in and out of like consciousness. <laughs> but when you need a piss, you really need a piss. And so I fill up these fucking full things. But the way that they were sat, there was like five of them laid out on the little table next to me. Oh. They were all empty. You got to take your pick. They were all, all empty. And then I ended up filling one up and like, it was the first piss I did. So it was, a, it was fucking huge. Yeah, like, hell yeah. And it, ne- <laughs> 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 and it, it nearly did overflow like oh, as yeah. I was doing it. That's anyway, impressive. anyway, once you're finished, you're like, where do I put it? So I put it up on the table with the rest of them, right? And then I've sort of gone back to sleep. It's an awkward thing because you don't want to have like a conversation with the nurse because she comes in every half hour or an hour to make sure that you're still alive and check, check that like your blood's not clotting and all that shit. 
And then, so I was like, you know how you fake being asleep and you just sort of shut your eyes a bit? I did <laughs> yeah, that and yeah. I watched her and uh, she moved all of the... <laughs> can they fall for that? She moved like all of the egg carton things and she moved one and she moved two very confidently because she thought they were empty. And then she got to the full one, <laughs> the full one and she like moved it real far. But it was it was like to the brim full, but you, you can't tell from where yep. she was standing. And so she moved it and all this piss just like <laughs> <laughs> fell out. All this piss <laughs> fell out onto like oh, basically, yeah. you know, like the hospital dinner table that yeah, you get. Yeah. yeah, just onto that. And you, and you know, it's got like weird crevices in the corner. Yeah. 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 And oh, all just like spl- are they there? She splashed a, in there like a moat, like a urine moat. She got a straw and this is. That's disgusting. <laughs> um, but yeah, and oh, it's very that. hard not to, because I was pretending to be asleep, but even I was giggling my little heart That's out. Because so this poor woman just, just picked up. My my willy my willy juice. <laughs> <laughs> she feels it. You just like taxi. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So that was your old man's story. That's my old man's story. Okay, nice. Was there anything else? No, but I'm intrigued to find more out of it about his penis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. This week we asked the people of Perth. Do you call going down south? Douth. Hell fucking no, bro. What? You're not big on it. No, it's so cringe. You guys, I don't think people it are very... My, l- my skin crawl. Uh, <laughs> I don't think people fall too closely to the... um. What do you call that thing? The fence. Like, you're either really for it or you're really against it. It's just me. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like people who say it don't love it. And the people who hate it... Really hate, hate it with a fiery passion. I thought it was an ironic thing to sort of say. Yeah, me too. But the more we've asked the question, the more people seem quite um, it's just legitimately okay. say like people say putting, up, putting up posts, there's like a photo of them in front of the beach or like the Bunbury jetty. I mean, the Dunsbury jetty and they're just like... Buswilton jetty? Yeah, the Buswilton <laughs> jetty and they're just like, Douth. Douth was good. <laughs> Douth. It's so cringe. Throw back to Douth. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> like, normally I'm like, oh, you know, people can do whatever they want. I don't really care. Like, oh, yeah. it doesn't oh, yeah. affect I'm all me for or whatever. Like, oh, I don't see saying Douth. Like, do you, but like, it's just, on. it's not that hard to say down south. Yeah, I'm going down south. It's also another thing that I don't think um, <laughs> other, ca- other states do it. Like, yeah. in Melbourne, you're not... You know, I don't think you're ever going south in Melbourne. Sydney yeah, much the yeah, same. Because in Melbourne, if you go down south, I'm going to get this wrong. But then you're in Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you go too far, you end up in Tasmania. Yeah, yeah you got to swim a bit. That, you yeah. Will be, yeah. I don't know. We, we don't know. That's a lot of things. Boogie Adelaide, boogie. Adelaide wouldn't have a douth. No, yep, they got they're pretty low. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they are. The, but they were, Sydney maybe whenever they go to the beach, they say douth. I don't think Sydney would have a douth. I feel like everyone has a douth. I mean, there's a lot of land in between these states. And capitals. Yeah, but I don't think people use it like we do because it d- generally it's like a different city. We're in Perth. It's Perth and then we just have <laughs> fucking Douth. Douth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's such Douth. a collective term. Like, just say like... Douth. It's, where the fuck are you going? You could go to fucking Rockingham. <laughs> you could be <laughs> yeah. in Wellard, bro. Some people coming to our house is Douth. <laughs> yeah, legit. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah. and also One of the boys, no James James McCoy, have a look at his. His his was pretty good. He put a bit of a um, circumference range finder on Douth. I don't. I can't see anything. I, can't, I don't know which one. Oh, I don't mind when it's not overused, but Douth. Um, I don't mind when not overused, but Douth only refers to Busso Duns Margs part of down south. Yeah. So like you can't just go to Rockingham and call it. Death. Oh yeah. I think also what he's saying is like you can't go down to like, like, Esperance, yeah, like Bluff Knoll. Oh, like there's real a down set. Like down. down. Like what would you call that? Down down. <laughs> oh, I just did down down. Down down. Yeah, maybe down down you can't south. Like, yeah, because the people who live in um like Bosselton call it down. <laughs> oh yeah, where do you live? <laughs> you're I li- where do you live? I live down. <laughs> and it's and so sad no, because, like, we have the North and South debate in Perth, and we're in Douth. Like, we're a part of that. How sad is that? Theoretically, well, no, we're not. Well, oh, we're south of the river, of and yeah. Douth <laughs> is south of the river. So, that Do people north of the river call us Douth. Oh, I hope not. They're probably better than that. No, I, don't <laughs> think, so, yeah. I think they're better than that. I liked um <laughs> Ben. Ben's was good. J- I don't know. Sorry, <laughs> uh, Ben <laughs> said I Thanks, didn't Jay. even know this was a thing. Maybe that's because I live down south. 
And then he said, I just want to tell you guys that you're legends. Hell yeah, <laughs> thanks, Dad. That. That's, yeah, yeah. that's how you get your fucking name yeah, right man. out on the podcast. One of my well played. Uh, Clark, he said, well, firstly, he said, I'd rather shove my hand down my throat and rip out my own trachea than say Dow. Trachea. Oh, yeah, no. um, he said, it's unnecessary. <laughs> Cathed- he goes, Cathedra. He goes, um, you'd spend more time explaining what it means. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm going Dow. <laughs> And some and people are like, like, you know, like down it's south. It's easier, it's quicker to say. Why, why waste words? <sighs> yeah, it's, an, it's a no for me. I, it's funny, I, ironically. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I would say it. I can't wait. We're gonna sh- we'll share some photos from our we trip. We went down. <laughs> we didn't go far. We went to Mandra. Like it's by no means. Oh yeah, far. Mum said only forty eight. Well, this was a while ago. Yeah, she said OMG. OMG. Forty eight percent of your viewers love it. What is your demographic? Yeah, I was expecting it to be way more, way more haters. So did I. And I think the reason why I think that it would have more haters was perfectly summed up by Megan Murray's comment. It makes you sound like a wanker. Yep, good call. Which I think is just... (laughs) Jackson Hayhouse said it gives off the same energy as Palmer. From the Palmer Palmer Palmer? debate. Oh. I like that. Yeah, that's a good shout. Because there's one wrong and one right. (laughs) <laughs> Pretty location based. I feel ya. It's Palmy and down south, not Palmer and south. No, and it also point. it gives energies of like people being like, oh, like I'm, I go down south so much that uh, yeah. I can't say the two syllables. Yeah, I need yeah. to say it as one word. I need to say it for ten seconds. Of I go, life. I go south all the time. I basically live south. Yeah. So yeah, the result, <laughs> the results were pretty. They were pretty. They were pretty bloody tight. Forty eight percent of people said they love calling it south. And 52% of people said, Lord, no, I would never call it death. What I think was good about this poll was we didn't give any indicator of how we felt about yeah. it, even yeah. though before we even posted it, we were, we were talking shit about death. We were in the, oh, yeah. in the chat. In the DMs. Yeah. It was popping off. <laughs> no, it was good. So. Yeah, so don't, don't call it doubt. I mean, call it whatever you want, but it's just not doubt. There's no... Oh, oof. What? Up north. Oh, up north. No. Oh, yeah, people say up north, but they don't... Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. That's a good show. Oof. Um, we had what's her name? Oh, that's bad. Here we go. She was Adelaide in the first episode. Maddie. She sent in a question a couple of weeks ago. I just thought I'd let you all know if you do have any questions, if you do have any arguments that you need settled, bring them to the MacPay podcast, and we will do exactly that. We will. Hell yeah. We'll share your little. You got any thoughts? You can send in a voice. 50, your little fifty-fifty opinions. You can send in a voice message. Yeah, hundred percent. Do okay. whatever you want, but um, yeah. ping them in, and we'll we'll get you answers. That's it. Love it. Pop it off. All right, boys, it has been a hot minute. A red hot minute. Yeah, baby. Bet you better believe it. It is time for... Oh, it's been, a, it's been since episode... Episode, fuck, 42 it was that we last played this. Shit. That's ages ago. It's like six ago. months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, it's I a Mac Pack Life hack. Sorry, I missed the fucking... I missed the go. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Come on. It's hey, the hey. Yeah, Everyone probably forgot what the MacBook is. This is some of the best royalty <laughs> free music around. <laughs> There'd be a lot of people tuning in for the first time. And even if they've ch- listened to every single episode, I think the last MacPack Life Hack went for about. Oh, oh you we thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The last MacPack Life Hack went for about a minute, didn't it? And then we just uh, wrapped it and packed it up. Yeah, baby. You definitely could have just missed it, yeah. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> it was a good act, though. Uh, no. Backpack life hack. Uh, I missed it again. We've got to do a bit of practice with the backpack life hack. We might have to bring a few more to the table during 2022. Here we go. But what is the backpack life hack, Jake? Fade it down, Joey. Fade it down. What is the backpack life hack? Well, obviously we're in the new year. 20, well, 20, what is the, a backpack life hack? A backpack life hack is essentially a life hack that comes from... You fucking guessed it. Oh my God, guys. Good stuff. That's <laughs> all those brains <laughs> clicking in the car right now. The Mac Pack. Um, previously on the Mac Pack podcast, Mac Pack Life Hack, we had a McDonald's. That's right. We had a McDonald's meal deal. So you got the um, double beef and bacon burger. Yeah. Now by itself, it was like six bucks. But if you put it in a small meal, it's only $5. You get small chippies, you get a small drink. It was like eight bucks. And it's bloody unbelievable. No, well, the small... Yeah, originally, it oh. was like seven. And to get like a medium one, it was like $10. But yeah. if you get it in a small meal, $5, might as well get two for that value. There used to be two small meal options. One was $8, one was 5 Yeah, like they're bloody idiots. Now, but I had a look over the summer and that one no longer exists. Yeah, I was in the... um In the... Caf- what do you call it? The caf- drive through. No, the food court at the CAS late one evening. Okay. After 
many cast many play many by their own rules as well. Just quickly, the cast have very different prices um, for Subways really? and for oh. McDonald's meals, especially. Yep. Damn. They must. They must put a weird. They know. Crown you know, tax on it. This is before you were eighteen, but you used to be able to pay with um, chips. Did you? Yeah. That's sick. That's weird. Dollars fifty for. Not many for <laughs> Um But we will. We do have another McDonald's life hack, but we'll bring that to you in the coming weeks. The one that I want to talk about at the moment, obviously, we've just finished off our holidays. Joey, is my first day back at work today. Much the same for yourself. Yes, right back from the annual leave. Yeah, so we I managed to string together, I think it was 18 days off, which was absolutely de- oh, lovely. delightful. Yourself obviously worked a fair bit through the period, Junior Boy. Yeah, cause If anything, it was probably more busy for yourself. Now, as the holiday was coming to an end, Ooh. I'm beginning to think, I actually quite like this whole holiday a setup, to be completely Francis with you. <laughs> How the fuck can we do this again before Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> before 12 months. Plus. Or two MacPack life hacks away. <laughs> Plus. And it didn't take me long to work out a little MacPack life hack. Oh, shit. Where you can use next to no annual leave days. Yeah, baby. And get a genuine holiday from your Burke station. Now. Yes. Let Walk us through it. Let me read it. I've obviously got some notes. And it, it has been publicised a bit, but no one has quite as much reach <laughs> and length and girth as the Mac Pack podcast. So, I just want to enlighten you here. I'm excited for this. What's it What's it utilising? While you're looking, I just think I just want to talk about public holidays. It's yeah, funny because when, you, when you're working, here we go. love a public holiday because you don't have to work. Mm-hmm. But when you're a casual employee, you love a public holiday because you get to work. Yeah. You get to make that extra that's a, bank. That's a great shout. I would, uh, you if they were like, we'll give you twice as much money to work on a public holiday. Yeah. Wouldn't do it. I'd be like, fuck off. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you work every day. Because you like, if you're working every day, like getting a day off is way better than getting paid. Twice. I like it. Okay. Settle in. Grab your notebooks out. You're going to be writing a fair bit down here. Ready? Right here. Now, this is around <laughs> April. <laughs> it is a spam today. Yeah. <laughs> J-Mac, leaving us on the edge. Given the, given the viewers time to grab <laughs> their pens. <laughs> Very kind. All right, boys, you ready to go? I am ready. I got my pen. Let's go. Oh, this is it. Okay, this will get you. This little tack yep. will get you 17 days break from work and you only use eight days of annual leave. All right? Yeah. Here we go. Lock it in. Here we go. You apply for four days annual leave between Tuesday the 19th of April. Yeah. And Friday, the 22nd of April. Ooh. You obviously get the day off on the... You get the whole weekend off, which yep. is the 15th, 16th, 17th. Yeah, because you got Good 17th. Friday through to Easter Monday. Correct. The 18th is Easter Monday. Yep. yep. So, you've essentially, if you, you basically go to work on the last day is April 14th. Then you yep. get a public holiday, two days weekend, and another public holiday. Then you're at Tuesday, the 19th of April. Yep. Then, you take that off to a Friday, the 22nd of April. Yep. So, you take off four days on the week. Correct. And then you obviously get Saturday, Sunday, as per normal. Yeah, getting pretty late into April. What's that Monday? That Monday is Anzac Day. So Anzac Day is the 25th of April. So all of a sudden you've got another no. little public holiday. So at this point in time, you have taken mm-hmm. four days of annual leave. Fuck. And you've just strung together 11 days in a row Heard. of a break. That's almost three times Cor- yeah, what you get. That's good math. <laughs> then, if you want to get a little bit, that's I believe that's what you've already done. You've already yeah, applied I did, for I that. Did that this that's morning. exciting. I'm going to do Ooh. so very soon. I actually might go the whole hog though. This is the next bit. This is where Eric. That's he's my go, sore arm. Going crazy. This is where arrogance gets quite elite. You've already booked. You basically already had from the 15th of April off until the 26th. Yeah, not inclusive. Yeah. yeah, 26th will be your first day back, which is the Tuesday. I'm telling you right now, take Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yep. And what happens then, Joey? So then you've used eight days of annual leave, and you've got 17 days. Correct. Hell <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. It's massive That's if, way you, to do it. if you're able to pull it off, because obviously you get the weekends in there, but there's a few double header long weekends where you get the Friday, and then you get the Monday. Mm. So Love good. that. Which is the key. We're going to brand it as the Mac Pack um, Holiday. Fuck yeah. Obviously, you get Christmas over December. But this April slash early May, we're calling this the Mac Pack holiday. Yeah, this, would be per- this would be perfect for me if I was in full time because I get like the birthday. 
Oh, and true. It is it's Riley's birthday. birthday on April the 14th. So look at him. He's giving us a g- the gift of not working. You're welcome, everyone. On his birthday. How exciting indeed. There you go. So, yeah, be sure to let us know if you're taking off the Mac Pack holiday in April. Yeah, baby. And we'll see if we can do a little festival of things. Fuck yeah. That's good. I'm glad we got the refreshing little Mac Pack life. Hey? Oh, yes, we did it. What Jake's trucking once again. What do we think, boys? With he's saving us money on Maccas. He's saving us annual leave days. He's looking out for our wallets and he's looking out for our time at work. What more can I say? Oh, yeah. It's, been, it's been fun. He's a thrifter. <laughs> he's a thrifter. Me. Nah, it's exciting to bring you a, a fantastic opportunity to get a little winter holiday in your belt. Fuck yeah. Can't wait to see you all there. Yep. It is the Mac Pack holiday in April. Hell yeah. And we can't wait. All right, boys, that brings us to the end. Nearly the end of another Mac Packer podcast episode. Yep. But we wouldn't finish up without presenting one of our favorite segments. Of course. That we do each and every week. Joey, what is it? It's our everyday hero. Oh, that was nice Joey. Joey. Good yeah. stuff. All right, so I haven't done one of these in a while. For good reason. You're, <laughs> not, after I was you're not great at them. After I was a bit harsh to the fan submission last week. Ooh. Or two weeks ago now, I thought, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring my A-game a, a, a game to the table. Nice. I'm well. going to deliver a fantastic everyday hero. Here we go. Now, this everyday hero goes out to a former co-worker of mine. He left at the end of last year. Rip. Yep. Rip. Um, Marky Mark. No, no, no. End of end of twenty twenty one. Rest okay. in peace. Um, so he's moved on to he's moved on to different things. Yep. Rest in peace. Um, I'll just say his name. His name's Dan. Dan. Hey! Dan the man. Dan Andrews. Woo! Great guy, Dan. I don't think he, I don't think he listened. Not many people at work listen to the podcast. Oh. <laughs> um, but the reason why Dan is the everyday hero is Dan would just take that little bit of extra. Extra care and effort yeah. to make the workplace a place where you want to be. What would he do? So there's just little things like he'd always come in, always say good morning to everyone. Everyone. Just about like walking past to to his desk. Beautiful. Always like put in the effort to, you know, say hi, have a bit of a quick chat. Yep. Always say goodbye when he leaves. That's huge. But you know, they're just standard stuff. Anyone can do that. But he also went above and beyond. It does take confidence to say good day to every single person and then goodbye to every single person as well. Because yeah. they could be in like, you know, <laughs> they could also be in like also com- conversations. You might have to like stretch a bit. Sometimes you might say goodbye or hey, and you don't really get much back. So it's a bit awkward. But to go through with it every day. Props yeah, to the good. man. Props it's to the man. It makes you feel like, oh uh, yeah, like he's excited to see me. You know? He's here, yeah. Um, but yeah, he Dan, he did the, the typical workplace camaraderie stuff, but he also went above and beyond. So he, there are three things I'm going to give him a, a shout out for. Here we go. First one. Was this is a long winded. How? When did this happen? When he so used to it work was over the span of his career, yeah. But now that now that he's left, I've sort of oh. Joe's done a bit of reflecting over I've the break. I've sort of left to ponder, like, you know, Daniel's a great guy, and I think maybe I could <laughs> maybe I could leave this going forward. I can sort of take on some of this. Yeah, you could become you Dan be, the I man. I could become Dan. You could I be this guy. I can, I can become this guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so okay, these are the three things he did. I think you guys will love some of these. Hopefully. So the first <laughs> one is he started his own club within the company. Called the Breakfast of Champions. I like which it. Was a, uh, it was sort of like a quarterly. Every once, every couple of months, we would have um, a breakfast. We would have breakfast together. Champions. And it was pretty like he just started it out of the blue. <laughs> like it's something he would talk about for ages. Like at lunch, like he at lunch he'd always be like, <laughs> Luke just real hungry, uh, coming up with these, coming up with these Damn, like, crazy <laughs> ideas. I wish it was breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> that he would talk about like at the lunch table and like you know get people excited about work stuff and there's one thing just to talk about oh like this would be cool but he actually he, did he got shit done so nice. we had yeah. the breakfast to champions which everyone in our like our section of the business would come and well, not everyone obviously because like you can't have a hundred people at a breakfast table yep. but everyone who could make it came mm-hmm. had breakfast that's you know, huge yeah there were like the partners and stuff would come so like pretty high ups in the company how old's Dan? Dan's, um, I think, 41. Okay. Yeah. So he's not just like a youth yeah, like yeah. yourself. Youth. No, no, he, yeah. He's established. So that was his one thing. Starting the Breakfast of Champions. But, Breakfast know, of Champions still going on? Uh, there hasn't been one in a while. You should but do it. It, it sounds like, like there's a real position there, then, Joey, to Joey? sort of step oh, up to I the actually, plate, you big championess. I actually did organize the last one. <laughs> oh, did you unable, actually? Holy unable cunt. to make it on the actual day. Because I was... You nearly, we nearly did a full out. <laughs> we nearly un- did it. Fuck. Because I was unwell. Yeah, and it was like I think it was when there was a bit of a COVID scare going on, so I can't show up unwell. <laughs> you, uh, 
Uh, and then the next two things. Now, these things are things you put into motion months before. Okay. But only sort of came into... Because he went on leave for a little bit before he left. Um, did he use like yeah. a similar life, <laughs> life hack? Did he do, a, <laughs> did he do <laughs> an eight day and just bender. disappear for three months? So the first one was we have this little, a little room. It's got like couches all around okay. where we have our... Um, my team in the office, we have our Friday meetings in there. It's kind of a chill room. Yeah. And Dan was like, you know what? He goes, he's like, this could be like a really nice like zen space where yeah. we could hang out, come and chill out. And he was like, we should get beanbags there. He's and trying he, to be Google. He tried, yeah, yeah, he <laughs> loved, yeah, basically. <laughs> but he tried, he was like trying to get, he was like, oh, can I get, you know, this approved so we can have beanbags in this room or whatever. Yeah. But the there's a lot of like, um, like red bureaucratic, bureaucratic red tape you got to go through to get these like random expenses for like just, yeah, for room. hanging out, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> one day, he just bought beanbag. Himself? Yeah, he bought beanbags himself at lunch. Him and one of the other guys from my team went to like Maya or like Kmart or whatever. And then they just fit, set them up in... How many beanbags? Just two. They're like quite big. Oh, maybe there's three actually. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was, for himself, you know, it was such a... Know, king beanbag. It was just way <laughs> bigger than everyone else. The day they were setting it up, it looked like it was snowing though in the room because oh. there was these beanbag oh, real. Whatever. They were also like all down like St. George's Terrace. Oh, shit. Just, like, I don't reckon Dan likes doing much work. That's reckon, what I'm getting. I don't reckon Dan left. <laughs> I reckon Dan got asked. Uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then even like, so like the cleaner guy had to come and clean up the beanbag. So he, Dan bought him a bag of lollies from. The cleaner has his own podcast <laughs> where he does pots. Maybe he doesn't do a hero. He goes an absolute um, anti-hero. Oh yeah. Dan also won that a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> um, yeah. And he like bought him a, he bought him like a big bag of lollies from the vending machine. I was like. The sorry. cleaner. Yeah. You oh. felt bad about spilling the bean. <laughs> Pardon the pun. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then the last thing. Dan's loaded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm getting here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, and then one of the last things, was this one was a bit sad because I don't think he ever actually got to use it. It was brought in while he was on leave and now um, he doesn't work there anymore. Oh. But on our lunch, the floor where we have lunch, yeah, um, he was always saying like, oh, we should have like a ping pong table. Yeah. This boy hates work. We should have a, we should have a ping pong table. <laughs> and he was like emailing like, like execs and like the directors and stuff being like, how can we get a ping pong table? He's like, because he used to work in the camera office. He's like, camera had all this sh- cool stuff and we don't have any of that. So he was a little bit jealous. But um, <laughs> yeah, he he got the ping pong table. He finally, it yeah. was arranged. Now there's a ping pong table and then people play ping pong at lunch. Oh yeah. And it's just, you know, every time you see two people out there having, having playing fun, pong. bonding. I just think about... Do you ever play? Drive's pretty good. I played a couple. Of, yeah, but it's one of those things where like you don't want to look like you're trying too hard. I would just slam the shit out of her. Um, well. So Dan was he forcefully removed from the building or no? So he um uh, he just wanted to do other things basically. <laughs> Fun I <stuff>. believe <laughs> I don't know. If it's, yeah, yeah, more. F- yeah, he just sort of less work. He owns a bounce. <laughs> more hobbies. Uh, no, but yeah, um, <laughs> he yeah. So he. Uh, so what does he do now? Nothing. Uh, not actually sure. Do you okay. still got him on LinkedIn? Yeah. It's still got him on LinkedIn. Uh, no, he doesn't have social media. <laughs> oh, very He's cool. an enigma. This yeah, guy, yeah. I don't reckon he was ever an employee. His name's I not Dan. I reckon he just strolled in. Let's have some fun, guys. <laughs> yeah, he's a really, really fun guy. And I think, like, just <laughs> the <laughs> fact that there are these things that he brought into place <laughs> yep. while live he was on. in the company, that they live on, you know? Yeah. The, the, the ping pong table is just, like, a prime example of that. It's like, you know that saying where they say, you should plant trees that you won't see, you won't be able to sit in the shade of. Yeah. yeah. You should organize ping pong tables. <laughs> so you ain't never going to You're never going to so pop. Da- Dan's gone, but Dan's not really gone. Is the he? spirit lives on. The spirit of Dan lives on. Dan reminds me a bit of Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I think there was a, there's a clear period where at your workplace um, that we're going to forever consider as BD, which is before Dan, and then AD, AD, AD. which is after Dan. Oh, so... Yeah. Shout out to Dan, because he is episode 68. Yeah. Every day. Hero. Well done, Danny. That was a good one. All right, boys, we're done. Yeah, Pack baby. Up, pack her up, boys. Um, we mentioned off the top, the website is now live. Hell yes. We've already had a few people get in contact and pick up some shirts. Yep. A few people checking it out. Um. Yeah, check out it, the website. Isn't just a website; it's like an experience. It is. It's like it's got like a whole bunch of our podcast episodes on there, which I'm sure 
if you're listening, you'll be um, well and truly wrapped. Shit together. about the pack, the, sm- the origin story of the pack. And we're going to do some more stuff around like our lives. So we'll do like little monthly blogs if we ever get time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's pretty exciting. But at the moment, we've got a little competition. I'm not sure how many of the listeners follow us on Instagram, but if you jump on our Instagram page, at the Mac Pack Podcast, the f- that up. full stops between the words, jump on. There's a tile where we basically announce the website was up and about. If you tag your mate, you get an entry. You basically can win some Mac Pack merch. You win a shirt for yourself and a shirt for a mate of yours. So make sure you're tagging your, your mates in the comment section. Um, if you subscribe to the mailing list, you get five votes, your five entries. And what? then if you actually buy a shirt from the website, you get 10. Is the mailing list you just upload your email? Yeah, you just punch in your email, you get five votes immediately. There you go. Five entries immediately. Go in the running to win some Mac Pack merch. And the Mac Pack merch is absolutely flying off the shelves, which is quite exciting because I, I was a bit worried that it was just going to sit in my room. Um, but no, it's going quite, it's going actually <laughs> quite, it's it. going quite well. Um, yeah. We will definitely be putting in new stock. We've got more stuff that is on its way. We're getting like DMs every day of people wearing the merch. Yeah, which is fantastic. We should probably share more of that shit. Um, but we do have more merch coming, um, which is already in the pipeline. And then we're going to obviously do a winter range as well with some sweaters, some beanies, some socks and whatnot. Um, How do you win 10 entries into the raffle, Jake? Yeah, that's if you buy a shirt. Oh. Yeah, so if you go on, buy a shirt... Um, then you get 10 entries. Fuck, that's not bad. And then you can hook up your friends. You can sell them to your friends. There you go. There you go. The you more you know. Hook up with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> boys, it's been an absolute pleasure to sit next to you for another week of the MacPack podcast. It always is. Wait, boys, I reckon like... Oh, here we go. Should we get some ping pong tables in here or what? Yeah. <laughs> for Dan. <laughs> for Dan. <laughs> Could be on. And a beanbag. Maybe we sit on beanbags. <laughs> for Dan. Um, if you haven't already, there's obviously like a fair few ways you can get in contact with the MacPack podcast. The best way to be involved, I'm going to say, is reviews on Apple Podcasts. Hell yes. If you ping in a five star review and write a little review, that would be fantastic. We'll read out the. We read out. I think we've read out every single one of them. Hell I want to yeah. get some funny ones in there. So if you think you're funny, <laughs> or if you don't think you're funny, you just want to be like a smart aleck. Um, five stars punch it in there we'll read them out each and every week do you know what's crazy about Spotify as well Jake they do rankings as well they do rankings they as do. well they do so if you're a listener on Spotify yeah if you're a listener on Spotify just give us stars they don't do reviews they just do the stars but if you want to if you actually want to be shouted out make sure that you jump to Apple Podcasts and we'll read out your review I think there's one thing you forgot to mention about the competition yeah. if you win you also oh, will be invited shit. on to be a what, phone guest yep. star 100%. of the next episode yep so if you are the winner of the competition we will call you on the next episode and you'll actually feature on the episode of the Mac Up Podcast. It'll come out Holy sheesh. next Friday. So consider yourself a very lucky bastard or what's a woman version of bastard? Bastard. I don't know. Maybe you can tell us next week when you're on the podcast. Yeah. Boys, it's been an absolute pleasure until we do so. This time next week, we're hopefully a fan. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And always remember to give your mama. Hi. It's Jeff and Albert. Not forever.